이하순 기자가 바알의 제사장들과 세계의 대결을 벌였던 것이 바로 이스라엘 북부 지역에 있는 갈멜산이죠. 그 갈멜산에서 하나님께서 주신 영감으로 아름다운 찬양을 직접 만들고 또 노래를 부르는 메시아닉 찬양 가수가 있습니다. 바로 사라 리버만이라는 이 메시아닉 주 찬양 가수인데요. 오늘은 그분을 만나서 그분의 놀라운 또 간증과 찬양 이야기를 들어보도록 하겠습니다. 고맙습니다. 이렇게 시간 내주셔서 Thank you very much. Thank you. 먼저 본인 소개를 좀 해주시죠. Well, my name is Sarah Lieberman, and I am born in Israel, grew up in a Messianic home. So we are Jewish, but we believe that Yeshua is the Messiah. And um, growing up in this country, I was uh, mostly alone because the body was very small and um, uh, went into the professional world and worked in high tech, in sales and in marketing for uh, some years. And then uh, a few years ago, God changed my life and he um, resurrected my dream to be in worship. And um, uh, from that, uh, from obedience to that call, my uh, life completely changed. And now um, I'm a worship leader. I uh, write songs, produce CDs and videos, um, and uh, we run a worship program. So life completely changed. I'm married. I have a wonderful husband and three children. And yes, and we live here um, in Israel full time. 제가 우리 사라 리보만 씨를 만나 뵙고 싶었던 것은 저희 브레드 TV에서 예전에 이스라엘의 메시아닉 주들의 찬양 뮤직비디오를 소개하는 프로그램이 있었거든요. 바로 그때 우리 사라 리보만 씨의 찬양 중에 Great Exchange라는 이 노래를 아주 제가 굉장히 감명 깊게 들은 적이 있어요. 그래서 도대체 이분은 어떤 분인가 굉장히 이렇게 호기심을 갖게 되었고 드디어 이제 오늘 이렇게 만나 뵙게 됐습니다. 그때 제가 봤던 Great Exchange라는 노래 제목 본인께서는 이 Great Exchange 어떤 거라고 이렇게 설명해 주실 수가 있습니까? The Great Exchange is a song that was born out of a spontaneous moment um, during a worship watch. We have uh, here on Mount Carmel every week. I come up to the mountain and worship the Lord. Um, and in a spontaneous moment of worship, I just started to sing uh, this line, all of me for all of you. And I was thinking about um, how sometimes we as believers, we think that if um, we say to God, all of me for all of you, I'll give everything, that he might ask us to do something that we don't want to do or go somewhere that we don't want to go. All of me. For all of you, I give all of me to gain all of you. And the truth is that giving God everything, surrendering everything to God, is a completely different kind of exchange. And that's where the song was born from because I started to realize that. Um, when I come to God and I give Him everything, I give Him my doubts and my fears and my disappointment and my pain, shame, grief, whatever it is that we have in our life that we want to put at the foot of the cross. And God, in return, gives us blessing and kindness and mercy and grace. He's amazing. He wants the best for us because He's our Father. And so that's the real exchange with God, that we bring Him all of the stuff of our life and, it, and, and we, we get to give it to Him. And in exchange, He gives us um, a life of authority and confidence and power by the Holy Spirit. But if you look at the music video, there is a young girl 이 안으로 이렇게 들어가는 장면이 나와요. 그리고 그 교회 강단 앞 부분에 선물이 놓여 있고 이 아이가 그 선물에 관심을 갖고 뭐 이런 장면이 나오거든요. 그 뮤직비디오에서 선물이 의미하는 것은 뭡니까? When we thought about the concept for the video, I wanted a little girl because um, it just symbolized me as a child 
And I think that um, when we are children, when we are childlike, um, it's it's a an authentic place with God. And um, so I, I wanted to show that um, in life and in the world, there are so many things that look good and they look like presents and even destinies of our life that look like um, these would be great things to do or um, maybe they'll make me rich or they'll make me famous or they'll make me happy. When she goes in and she starts to open the boxes, there's nothing inside. And that shows that they're empty, that these promises um, are not real wisdom and they're not real truth and they're not real um, provision and, and joy and peace. And that's why I wanted to show those, those presents. 이제 개인적인 좀 질문을 할게요. 어머니 아버지께서 영국에서 살던 유대인이라고 하셨는데 어떻게 영국에서 이 유대인으로서 예수를 믿는 메시아닉 주가 될수 있었을까요? 어머니 아버지 얘기를 좀 먼저 좀 듣고 싶어요. When I was just a baby, they moved from England to Israel and um, next door uh, some believers moved in. And every day they would sing songs at the same hour. And one day my mother decided to go in and knock on the door and find out what was going on. And so she walked in and they were having a Bible study. And um, my mom had had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. Um, she did not grow up in a believing home in England. And uh, some years before that she had had an encounter. The presence of Jesus had come into her room and she was looking for that. And when she came into that room, uh, she found it. So she knew that it was something that she wanted and she very quickly became a, a believer in Yeshua. And my father grew up in a uh, orthodox, traditional Jewish home. And so when she told him that she was a believer, this caused a big problem. And uh, through uh, some months of difficulty and a lot of prayer, uh, my father decided to um, investigate all religions, which is something that happens a lot of times uh, to Jewish people. If you, if you give them the truth uh, that Yeshua is the fulfillment of all the prophecies in the Old Testament, uh, so much they have been taught that this is truth and Yeshua cannot be the Messiah. That if you, you, you give them that, they, many of them will say, if this isn't true, then maybe there's something else outside that's completely different that's truth. So they investigate Islam and, and Hinduism and, and, and Christian science and, and many other kinds of religion because they're trying to understand what the truth is. And after a process of searching, my father came back and he said, one day, um, I know Yeshua is my Jewish Messiah and I, and I, I receive him. And uh, so they continued on together. 부모님은 그렇게 예수님을 이제 만났다고는 하지만은 사라 리버만 씨 같은 경우는 어렸을 때 부모를 따라서 이스라엘로 이주해 왔다고 이렇게 얘기하셨는데 어린 시절에 특히 이 청소년 시절에 이스라엘에서 다른 유대인들 속, 아이들 속에서 예수를 믿는 메시아닉 주 가정에서 자라난 본인도 메시아닉 주라는 사실 때문에 힘든 적도 많았을 것 같아요. 왜 나는 다른 그 유대인들과 다르게 예수를 믿는 집에서 태어났을까? 이런 것 때문에 이렇게 갈등하고 고민하신 적도 있었을 것 같아요. Growing up as a child in Israel, um, the movement was very small. So there were very few believers. In fact, as a child, uh, we had one gathering per year and I knew everybody. <laughs> there were a few hundred people and that was it. So it was very lonely, especially in school. Um, and also because we grew up with different values and believing different things uh, because we believed Yeshua is the Messiah and um, that is mostly rejected. And so um, at the same time, uh, the congregations were, were persecuted. Uh, we had rocks being thrown into the building, uh, smashing the windows on Saturdays. Um, in some instances, they, they set fire uh, to buildings, not with any people inside, but uh, there was definitely a sense of persecution um, and, and, and difficulty in that way. But um, I had friends who were believers, 
uh, we had summer camps growing up, and so I knew that I wasn't alone. Um, and my family, we were a close family, and so we, we, we walked the walk of faith together. Um, and today, uh, the body has grown. It's not big still, but um, there's, there's more encouragement um, because there's just more numbers. So there's more people to, to, to communicate with and to be in community with. But I also think that there's a shift in Israeli society uh, that we, we, we did not see when I was growing up. And it is now changing. And God is also moving in a different way now in Israel uh, than, than we've seen before. And so there's an openness to, to the message and to the possibility that Yeshua is the Messiah. Um, and uh, uh, we're seeing miracles. We're seeing all kinds of things happen that, that were not there when I was a young child. 지금 현재 이스라엘에서 메시아닉주 가정에서 태어나고 자라는 메시아닉주 청소년들에게도 예전에 그 사라 리버마 씨가 겪었던 그런 아픔과 어려움들이 지금 그 청소년들에게도 나타나고 있지요. 그러면은 그런 면에서 우리 사라 리버마 씨가 경험했던 그 방법으로 상담을 해주고 이렇게 도와주고 그런 경우도 있습니까? Growing up here uh, is like similarly to countries where the gospel is not received. Um, you have to make a decision much earlier in your life if you're going to be hot or cold. Lukewarm doesn't work. You, you have to make a decision to stand for, for what you believe. And so we teach our children. We invest in teaching them about Yeshua, about the Holy Spirit, about um, the faith. And um, it's a little different in this country than many countries because children are taught Bible in school because it's a Jewish nation. So they know the traditions, they know the feasts. And so what we focus on is teaching them the, the purpose behind, the meaning of why God did what he did. Why did he set up the tabernacle? Why did he set up sacrifices? Why did he bring these holidays, these celebrations? And God's perspective through the story of Yeshua and redemption and bringing people to him. And so when you teach a child that, that God is desiring him, that God wants a relationship with him, it strengthens his ability to walk out um, in life and in society. But it is a lonely path. Uh, the children in this land need as much encouragement as we can, as we can give them and provide, uh, both practically in teaching, but also in prayer. Just praying, praying for the children in Israel. YouTube에서 우리 사라 리버만 씨의 간증을 이렇게 볼 기회가 있었어요. 예전에 아주 오래 전에 사라 리버만 씨가 어떤 개인적인 아픈 경험을 통해서 하나님 곁을 떠났다가 예수아를 떠났다가 결국은 지금 그 상처를 치유하고 다시 예수아께 돌아오는 그런 일이 있었다고 간증을 해 주셨는데 하실 수 있는 범위 내에서 그때 어떤 일들이 있었고. 그 아픈 이야기를 사람들에게 내놓을 수 있는 용기는 어떻게 생겼는지 그 얘기를 좀 해주실 수 있겠습니까? <웃음> um, the Great Exchange, that song, uh, the deeper meaning behind that song is really uh, the story of my life. And when I was a little child, uh, things happened to me um, that shouldn't happen to a little girl, but it happened inside uh, the, the church, the congregation. So it was a very painful time, both for me and uh, eventually for my family as well, because uh, when everything came out, um, it, it caused uh, a lot of uh, pain and um, kind of a, a breaking with, with, with the, the congregation at the time, uh, because it was so, you know, the, what I was talking about and what I was saying happened was so horrifying and so difficult to deal with. And uh, so God took me on a journey to healing. And uh, really, uh, the grace of God on my life is that I never questioned that God was good. Through everything that happened to me, this foundational belief that God is good carried me through. And uh, I, I went through counseling and uh, through prayer, and through prayer ministry for deliverance, uh, 
uh, because if you leave these things alone, um, they have different effects on, on you uh, and uh, on your relationships with people, on your ability to trust people, uh, and uh, on your marriage, um, even your relationship with your children. And so God really had his hand on my life. And uh, it, it was hard. It was at times very painful. But um, God's faithfulness to walk me through what he walked me through uh, has resulted in the impact of my life and being so much greater. And, you know, I, I didn't speak about this for many, many, many years. And God only asked me to share the story very recently. And it was from a place of wholeness. And I knew that God wouldn't ask me to speak about it until I came to a place of wholeness and health. Um, because I think if you're a, a, if you're a survivor of tra trauma in your life, you, you go into a, a place in life where you're not living, you're surviving. It's hard sometimes to breathe. It's, it's very painful. And, and if you will go to God, and if, if you will seek Him, He will heal you. He will restore you. And uh, He will uh, um, revive you. And that's what He did to me. You know, He came to me and, and he, he, he just woke up, stirred me inside and the desire of my heart um, as a child and uh, to sing, to, to lead worship. I had a whole career in, in high tech and in sales and marketing. And, and God said, it's time. It's time. I want to do something special in your life. And I want to I want to uh, partner with you. I want to go on an adventure with you. And part of that was was when the time came, God said, OK, it's time now. And I knew that um, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm not scared. And I know that it's encouraging to other people because I can say it's OK. You can be whole again. You can live again. You can uh, uh, experience life to the fullness again, uh, even if these kinds of things happen to you. 본인이 신앙적으로 어렵고 힘들 때 다시 예수와께 돌아오게 하는데 찬양의 도움이 컸습니까? When you worship God, um, it's not just we're talking to Him. We're we're giving uh, to Him. When we worship God, He gives to us. And he pours out his spirit on us and his blessing on us and his encouragement to us. And so worship has always been a, a tool for me, um, a way to communicate uh, in a two-way dialogue with God. Not just, um, and I think that in prayer you do that as well. When If you pray and then you sit quietly with the Lord and just hear his voice. And so... I think that for me, what's different in worship and in worship leading and the way that I lead also is that it's not just singing a song and then another song and then another song, but actually just spending time listening to the Lord and singing out um, what He's saying, what He's speaking. One time this happened to me, I was, I was, I was very tired and um, uh, I think I was going through a hard time and, and I was praying, I wanted to see you know, revival. I wanted to see transformation and change um, on my timeline. <laughs> and, and I remember just sitting at the keyboard, just worshiping God. And suddenly I sang something and it wasn't my words. And I, I actually, I, I sat, I quickly, I wrote it down because it was God was speaking to me. He was encouraging me. He was saying, yes, I'm going to come. I'm going to do these things. You are going to see uh, the, that, these heart desires. And uh, so God encourages me through worshiping Him. You know, when I was little, I was two years old when um, we went to some friend's house and there was a piano. And my parents say that I just started playing it and I loved it. Uh, but when I was little, I had these dreams. And I was singing with so many people. And I know now that it was worship, but when I was a little child, I didn't understand. 그래서 이제 본인이 직접 곡도 만들고 가사도 쓰고 
그러시는데 어느 때 하나님께서 이렇게 찬양을 만들 수 있는 감동을 주시는 것 같습니까? I started writing songs when I was a little girl, but I didn't think that they were any good. So I had like notebooks of songs and I threw them all away. <laughs> and uh, when I went through everything that happened after uh, that, that was in my teenage years, I went into a secular career and completely left behind worship, music. Um, I didn't leave God, but I left that calling on my life. And I left that dream completely and uh, worked in the corporate world and uh, had a great time. But God had a different plan. And one day he, he stripped everything away. He took everything away from my life, except for my husband and children. It was all gone. And in that moment, um, God called me back to, to this dream. And uh, I led worship and sang um, for a while. And I realized um, a lot of people that I admire and uh, And, and songs that I use, you know, are written by people, and I had nothing, nothing inside. And I, I, I remember saying, God, I, I don't know how to write songs. And one day I was sitting at my keyboard, just seeking God, worshiping, and uh, this song just, I just played a song, fully, one song. And it's called Pour Out Your Spirit. We don't have a music video for it, but it's on uh, the first CD. And it's just a heart cry. It just says, God, you're strong when I'm weak. And, and you revive me when I'm in the desert and in the dry place. And pour out your spirit so that I, I would be like you. It's just a heart cry. And that was it. I had one song. And so every night I would sit at the keyboard and I would sing this song again and again. I had no other song. And I said to the Lord, Lord, If you, you know, if you're getting bored of the song, please give me another song because I don't have anything else. So I'm just going to keep singing this song to you. And uh, soon after that, uh, I wrote the song Fire of Your Spirit, uh, which we did the music video for in the tabernacle. And so that was the second song. And uh, after that, I thought, I'll never write another song again because there was nothing. And then I just, as I just continued worshiping the Lord, uh, He would continue to give me songs. And, and from that, uh, I started to, to really uh, take these songs into congregations and conferences and events where I lead worship. And I saw that people connected with the songs. And um, uh, from that, uh, uh, eventually CDs were born. And, and it's, it's just been um, an amazing privilege to create with God. God wants to create with us. He wants to give us ideas. He wants to do things with us because this is how he does stuff on earth through people. 제가 듣기로는 설아 리보마 씨는 한국에도 한번 왔다 가셨다고 그랬어요. 메시아닉 주 찬양 가수로서 이스라엘에서 뿐만 아니라 한국 전 세계를 향해서 어떤 계획을 갖고 계신지 그 계획 좀 얘기해 주십시오. You know, coming to Korea was a huge privilege for me because my passion is for every tongue and every tribe and every nation to worship the Lord because that's the sound of heaven on earth. So when I get to go to other countries and worship with people from many different nations, uh, it's so exciting for me because it's like heaven um, on earth, that sound of so many people worshiping. And my, my hope, my vision for, for, for all nations and for all people in, in those nations would that, that they would Uh, come into the true presence of God and they would give themselves to Him uh, that He can purify um, our hearts and our lives so that we can walk out in authority and power 
and, and walk out the destiny that God has for our life. And so for me, every nation, every people group has a important destiny, an important uh, purpose that God made for each group. And uh, that is to, to, to bring the kingdom of God to the nation, to the people that, that are their people, and like in family. God has got a family, right, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's multi-generational, and it's a family. And so when, you know, it's important when people from the outside come to a nation, but, but it's very effective when, when the people of their own nation will, will, will encourage and, and make family with the people in their own country. And then each country has a sound. Um, when I was in Korea, I had the honor to uh, uh, listen to traditional uh, Korean music, but worship. So it wasn't um, worship that was translated from another language or a different style. It was, it was the sound of that land. And it was so wonderful and, uh, and uh, so anointed. And it's because uh, they were their, their true self. And I believe that you are the most powerful when you are you, when you're your authentic voice, when you don't try to be somebody else. I think in worship sometimes, um, it happens to me too. You hear a great song, you, 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 you watch a great band and you go, oh, I, I wish I could be that, I wish I could do that. Uh, but that's like a garden where there's just one same flower, one color in the whole garden. And that's not how God creates, right? He makes us all different, and together it makes this beautiful garden and this beautiful aroma to the Lord. And so uh, my dream is just for unity in worship, every tongue, every tribe, every sound, bringing that worship to the King of Kings. You have two CDs in the first CD, the first CD and the second CD. 그 시대에 담긴 메시지가 다 다를 것 같아요. 어떤 차이가 있습니까? Sometime into this journey after God called me out of my uh, uh, work and into a life of, of worship leading and worshiping Him, um, He showed me uh, that there's a pattern. Um, and uh, it's the worship journey of my life. And it's three parts. And the first part is about coming into the real presence of God, standing before God. And uh, the first CD is that first chapter, the first section of this journey. And uh, the second one is uh, called A Pure Heart. Because what happens when we come into the presence of God, uh, after we're found, God starts to work in us, to change us, to, to transform us, to purify us. And uh, so that's the second part. And the third CD, which I haven't made yet, Uh, is going to be called um, To See You, and it's based on Matthew 5.8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Because when we surrender our life, um, when we uh, give God permission to, to change us, to work in our life, uh, we are going to see the Lord work in ways that we've never seen before through our life. And that can be in your family. Uh, I'm a mother, just with my children. Um, in, in your work, um, in your service, in your worship. It's not just about being in a church or being a minister or a worship leader. It's, this pattern is true to every believer that walks out with the Lord. And so um, uh, the, the, the worship journey as a whole is really my desire for people to, to experience um, the freedom that, I, that I've experienced and, and, and to know the power of God because I've walked it, and so I know it's possible. So I want that for everybody. 차라리 보마시 오늘 본인의 간증, 놀라운 이야기들, 은혜스러운 이야기들 들려주셔서 고맙고요. 또 찬양 이야기 들려주셔서 너무 고맙습니다. 앞으로는 한국에서도 또 만나고 한국에서도 우리 차라리 보마시의 찬양 콘서트가 열리는 날이 왔으면 좋겠습니다. 그날을 기대하도록 하겠습니다. 고맙습니다. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.